Hello everybody and today I want to analyze the game between Timur Rajabov and Hikaru Nakamura played yesterday in candidates tournament. So Timur was playing with white and Hikaru was playing with black. So the game started with e4, e5, uh, knight f3, knight c6. So it was some sort of Ray Lopez. I really, it was very interesting in my opinion, c3, d5, then Castle, uh, no, C3 Castle, Castle and D5. This D5 idea was interesting in my opinion. Uh, basically, if white take, then black go uh, take with the queen. Then when white go bishop C4, black just go back. So, technically black wasted a tempo uh, with queen D5, queen D8, but white also played bishop B5, bishop C4, so there was also a waste of tempo. And more or less position is equal after A5 and then like bishop F5 because the pawn on d3 is a weakness so yeah why white are uh, somewhat forced to play bishop c4 because for example if white develop yeah, knight bd2 then there is bishop f2 and rook f2 queen b5 and black suddenly win a pawn then d3 is a big weakness and black are completely winning so in the game was d5 tamer played knight bd2 takes takes a5 basically a5 a move i think black want to maybe leave a square for some piece on a7 and on the other hand a6 would not be good at all because takes takes and 95 and black just lost a pawn so yeah it's not good but if a5 takes there is capture this and here pawn on a5 is better placed than on a6 because a4 is the idea to bring the b3 knight away so for example this e5 takes and as you can see it also allows the possibility for black to play bishop a6 because if we do the same thing here yeah here just bishop c6 work this and if rook e8 here it is the same but here knight f3 and takes takes and white have nicer position pretty much so and here knight e5 this knight f3 here bishop a6 so that's the main idea of this a5 move over a6 so the bishop can have a square on a6 okay so the game was a5 mm, queen c2 queen e7 a4, knight a7, Hikaru wants to bring the bishop away and maybe play c6, bishop b2, knight c6, knight b3, bishop a7, bishop b5, so Tamer's idea is to take on f6 and basically win a pawn on a5. And Hikaru made a mistake actually on move 13, he saw for 25 minutes even more than that and he played bishop g4. He had to go for bishop b6, just protect an a5 pawn, and he would be fine, like knight bd2, knight a7, the same, and maybe, again, knight c6 isn't bad, and then bishop c5, it's just equal. So this, and it's pretty equal. Um, Yeah, black give away the bishop, but up to knight f4, they are fine. But in the game was bishop g4, and here Hikaru blundered a pawn, here bishop f2, rook f2 and as you can see he didn't blunder a pawn but for example b4 and then rook a6 bishop b3 and look at that these pawns are very strong for white and they may go and promote to queens so that's really good for white so he can't play queen e6 and now team will just play queen e2 the same thing if capture then capture this and b4 and that's fine so knight h5 then team will play b4 already protecting the knight because now it wouldn't be probably that nice if Hikaru would take. So king h8 this, king h1, some prophylaxis from both sides. Rook g1, if g5, then I think, yeah, knight c4 is fine. Just bring in the knight back. And if capture, there is capture. And look at this beautiful tactic, bishop g5. And if h takes g, there is rook g5. And basically unstoppable mate. So bishop g5, queen c3, bishop h6. Here, bishop is three, and white are totally winning because black skin is really exploded. So, um, Hikaru played 
f5 instead of g5 and then tamer played e takes f, uh, rook g2 he had to play e takes f and then if queen f5 just knight c6 basically the pawn hangs and if rook f5 then he plays queen c4 and something similar happened in the game he sacrifices the pawn um if you can i will show later that basically the exact same position almost appeared in the game so e4 then a5 even though he sacked the pawn back his a pawn is a really big big threat for hikaru um so hikaru should be worried about it this so e takes f would be the best move as i said but he played rook g2 uh, f takes e takes rook f6 bishop e3 and here hikaru played bishop e3 which is which was another not the great not the best move he had to go for queen d5 and then try to do this pretty much same thing happened in the game i think only pawn on e3 I'm pretty sure is better here g6 queen e4 it is super super deep position for example c5 uh knight c4 is the only move to keep white advantage this knight e5 then takes takes so it is really really deep position but computer evaluation is plus one for 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 white plus zero seven because queen d5 if uh, tamer would take then that's equal because of a really strong um strong move uh, pawn center uh, for black but okay he kind of played bishop e3 uh f takes c queen d5 as, as, you, as you can see same thing happened here only the only difference here was that the rook on a, was on a7 and there was double pawns on f2 and f3 so queen d5 this is takes takes rookie two c5 he tr if he car tries to break the center for example if white makes some move like king g1 then capture capture and c5 and then strong white's uh, white pass pawns are broken and then basically it will be equal okay and it's c6 and here he car makes a mistake c takes b after what he's almost completely lost he had to go for knight f6 and then a5 bring the knight back into play knight e4 if rook c1 there is king h7 knight e5 yeah you sacrifice a pawn but at the same time as you can see the uh, white is just a pawn up now you play rook g8 and knight on e4 is very strong and it uh, like pins the rook so the rook on c1 cannot move because of c3 pawn this and that would be pretty pretty interesting position actually so you can see knight b5 white two pawns up but a5 pawn is a weakness so it is extremely hard to win it and e4 rookie stand that would be equal somewhat so yeah knight f6 and more or less it would be fine but he kind played c takes b and then tamer took rook f6 b5 rook d6 a5 knight f6 this already knight d7 was in another inaccuracy he can to go for e4 but already as you can see if there it was scary when pawns were b4 a5 but now they are b5 a6 they are one line forward to queens here rook c2 would be a bit better uh, to win for example some like rook d5 then knight e7 and then c7 pawn is a big weakness and it will fall soon um so king change mistake he covered to try rook d5 at least and then rook b1 king h7 still he's completely lost but it wouldn't be so easy for tamer to win because knight and rook somewhat hold some sort of a blockade um f5 king f3 king f6 that's completely winning for tamer but it's not that clear it's not that clear and here rook can go rook g1 so rook a3 knight rook b1 a8 now it gets more clear but still tamer had to find this very deep line rook d1 e4 but after king g8 there was much easier win tamer played rook c2 with the threat of knight e7 and rook c7 it seems like that because c7 pawn is a weakness king f7 and b4 c5 here on percent knight b6 e4 inaccuracy c7 would be just a bit faster because as you can see for example here c8 i think works it does but it doesn't okay that 
typical mistake which happens because I thought that Tamer would win material uh, but as you can see there is a big compensation because uh, Hikaru is a pawn and e3 is a weakness so after king e6 knight c6 and for example if king d7 you take on e5 if rook g3 you play rook g1 and that's why knight c6 was important that you free up your a1 rook and now knight protects the a7 pawn and the rook can uh, be somewhere else. So, But okay, Tamer played e4, they have very long time. This, king e6, rook a6, already Tamer has ideas like c7, etc. Ikaro played rook d4, then Tamer played knight d5, that was move number 40, which gave them a whole hour. Rook c7 is a threat for Tamer and he's totally winning. Ikaro played king d6, Tamer played knight b6. And Hikaru gave up. The game could continue like this, King C7, Rook B7, but after King 6, Rook B8, Tamer wins a Rook, and it's totally won. And if Hikaru tries like King C8, there is Rook F1 even, and mate. So after Rook, no, after Knight B6, the game ended. So that was a really good game played, well played from Tamer. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the ana analysis. Please write in the comments whether you liked it and also please write in the comments whether you want to see more of such analysis. So yeah, thank you all for watching and bye!